It's the top of the hour, and you've got the power. The power of Super Talk, WTJS 931, Alamo Jackson. The views and opinions expressed on the show are those of the host, guests, and callers, and not necessarily those of management, ownership, or advertisers. Saturday morning in Jackson and the West Tennessee. Good morning to you and welcome in to Tricks of the Trade with West Tennessee's premier honeydew helper, John Allen. Whatever the problem is, we're going to do our very best to get that thing fixed for you and get you back on the road this morning. You can call us at 731-891-6161 or text us on the Victory Honda text line at 731-410-7560. And if you're watching on the stream, y'all.com, Y-A-L-L with no apostrophe, dot com. You can uh, see the sausage being made this morning. Good morning, Mr. Allen. Good morning. How are you, Jim? I'm doing fine. Turn that just a little bit more towards your mouth there. My mouth. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Now you got that hole in my head. That's that big thing out front. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. How's it going? Man, I'm, I'm doing okay. Man, yeah. I, I feel like a, a, a duck in a new world this morning, man. Yeah. That's the first time I've seen the inside of the Old Country Store in about three weeks. Yeah. And, uh, we're glad to have you back. I'm glad to be out in the round. I'm, I'm not 100%, but I'm, you know, mentally I'm, uh, I'm back to where I was, which is about 50%. Yeah, well. <laughs> But I, I feel pretty good. I feel pretty good. Yeah, we, well, we missed you. We, we carried on, and uh, as, as things happen around here, uh, Brad kind of filled in for you one week. Did a great job, and, you know, we, we got along just fine. Hey, might Excellent. even taught him a thing or two. Who knows? Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, I bet you did. I bet you did. We had fun. Yeah, Brad's a great guy, man. I'm telling you, he's helped me through this, this whole thing, getting set up in the other studio and getting things working there. So, yeah. He's, he's, he's a good good guy. Yeah, we got uh, we got all kinds of things to talk about today. But uh, you know, we uh, I was off last week. Right. Had to take care of stuff, so we got to get our people back listening and, and watching. So pick up the phone, give us a call this morning, or uh, get on that text line, and that way we can talk about what you want to talk about, not necessarily what I want to talk about. But, exactly. Uh, but uh, we do have a few things we can talk about this morning. Well, uh, that'd be a good thing to do then, wouldn't it? Well, I think I'm going to jump into <laughs> one right now. Okay, and, let's uh, do that. I've got a, a situation where I was fussing a couple of weeks ago. No. Yeah, yeah I do. And uh, only because I can. <laughs> and, uh, and I do it a lot here lately. But uh, we talk about... We got we got something going on. I got a text that says I can barely hear John, and it looks like it's bumping like it's supposed to up here on on the meter. Slide that other mic over there, the one on the stand, if you can reach it, and uh, let's let's try that one. See if we've got a we got a glitch hitching our get along here. Try that one. Is that any better? I wonder. That sounds a little better. Do that again. Is that any better? <laughs> yeah, that's that's much better. That's much better. All right, got a, little, well, we'll got a get... microphone problem. That's what it was. Well, all this fine. Thank equipment. you, Texter. Appreciate that. Yeah, we uh, uh I'm gonna get me some new headphones one of these days. I'm probably allergic to styrofoam or whatever. Rumor, rumor has it that it'll be here Monday. No kidding. <laughs> I did not say that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. Uh, oh. Okay, now I'm sorry. I broke your train of thought. So get back on your train. Oh, that again. train been off the rail for a long <laughs> yeah, time. Yeah, you man, I know the feeling. <laughs> I uh, I don't really remember what I was going to talk about. But anyway, but let's see. Well, oh yeah, I was going to fuss a little bit this morning. All right. You know what? Uh, we talk about these people with their uh, home warranties. Yeah. And. Uh, there's some good ones and there's some bad ones. So I hear. And there's one that just stinks to high heaven. Oh, really? And uh, I was uh, had a situation where a, a, a couple bought a house. Uh, it wasn't a new house, but it was it was pretty new. It was less than 20 years old, so to me, that's a new house. That's new enough, yeah. Yeah, and uh, they moved in, and all of a sudden, they had a receptacle that was not working properly. So they called in because it came with their closing documents. They uh, uh, had this home warranty plan. Ah. So they uh, called up and says, the receptacles in my bedroom, um, they're not working. Things are running real slow, as in a fan. A fan would just go around just a little bit. Really? We got to, to checking it out. And was only getting 60 volts in there, and you're supposed to have a 120. 
or, or a little more maybe, depending on where you are in the world. But uh, we, uh, we, we surmised, I had my, my son out there, he was troubleshooting this situation. And uh, he called me up and he says, Dad, I, I've got to figure something out here. I'm only getting 60 volts on this circuit. And I said, well, you probably got a bad neutral. And uh, he pulled them out, and I said, just take that little meter of yours and go from your hot side on the receptacle down to the ground. Tell me if you got 120 volts. Yeah. He said, yeah, I do. I said, then if you go to the hot side over to the neutral side, you only got 60 volts, right? He said, yep. I said, like I said, you got a bad, bad neutral. So anyway, we were in the process of getting this taken care of and I knew it was a bad connection somewhere just didn't know where it was so uh, we made the call to the warranty company warranty company shot us back a note and (laughs) says uh, it's not covered we said what do you mean it's not covered well it's it's not covered I said explain that to me and they just says Sir, we just told you it is not a covered item. I said, these people have an electrical problem. It says in your documents that you have, uh, you cover all electrical components of the home. Right. But you haven't told me which component it was. I said, that's because I don't know which component it is. It's in an outlet. But I don't know which one till I open them up. To which they told me, "Yeah, we don't pay for troubleshooting." I said, "Well, how am I going to find out?" We just don't cover troubleshooting. <laughs> well, well, here I am in the middle. I'm in a person's home. My my son's doing his diligence to get things taken care of. And uh, we have to tell the customer that you got a problem. We know you got a problem, and we can find your problem. We can fix your problem, but they're not going to allow us the time to find the problem. They're going to only pay for the problem once we find it. <laughs> Maybe you figure that one out. Yeah. So anyway, we went through. Uh, I got I got a little loud on the phone, and they got a little tense with me. And I don't care. Yeah. But it just was ridiculous the way they were interpreting their policy. But anyway, we found the problem. And uh, it's something I have talked about on the show in the past. And I brought a little visual aid with me this morning, which was the problem. You know, I tell folks, uh, you know, you get outlets that are in your house, the the modern homes. and, And when you hook the wire to your receptacle... You don't put it on the terminal and twist it with your screw like you used to. Uh, you you stab the wire into the back of the receptacle. Well, on this particular one, that connection goes bad from time to time, and I I found that. Now I don't know if my my little camera guy can uh, zoom in on this, but uh, here is a receptacle that was in this particular person's home and when we pulled it out once we found the right one we found this burned wire on the back side of it Hmm. and there's also I don't know if you can see it or not but there is a hole where it's burned in the back of the receptacle and the wire you can just pull it out huh Wire is completely burned up. Toasted. These, uh, when these connections go bad on these receptacles and get loose, it builds up heat. And the heat uh, melts these receptacles. And once they start to melt and they don't make good connection, so like in this particular person's uh, situation, he lost his neutral. Uh-huh. Because it could not make a good connection, and it's all burnt up, and the wire's burnt. So once we got all this taken out and got him a new receptacle put in, uh, we got everything working like it's supposed to. Pretty common problem, but sometimes it's hard to find out 
which receptacle it is in the wall because they're all one is hooked to another one to sure. another one so told my son is kind of interesting i says well i'm gonna put my meter in the outlet and you just put it in the prongs here to right. where it reads and i said now i want you to go around to each outlet with your fist and i want you to just bump the outlet okay. just bump it and i'll tell you when to stop and he says, do what? <laughs> I said, yeah, just go do, just do that. I'm proud of you, Josh. That's what I would have said. <laughs> so so he, I'm over here with the meter in the socket, and he goes around and bumps it, and he bumped the first one. I said, I'm good. Go to the next one. He bumps it. I'm good. Go to the next one. Bumps it. I'm good. Go to the next one. And then he bumped one, and when he bumped it, my meter went off. I Aha. said, Aha. There's the one. There's your problem. Open that one up and you'll find the problem, which he did. And this is what it was. And it's a very common problem in a, in a person's home when you have these uh, old 39 cent. That's about what they cost <laughs> yeah. last year before COVID hit. And now they're got to take out a loan to get one just about. But anyway, uh, Got the problem squared away. Customers happen. We're still arguing with the home warranty pro, pro uh, company, which uh, I don't guess I'm supposed to say which company this is, but let's just say you don't have a choice. Uh, oh, did I say that? I didn't yeah, mean to no, say that. No, you, you should. Just you a, should. You, it, apparently, you should not have a choice. You shouldn't <laughs> have a choice, but, you know, that's pretty close to what it is. So, anyway. Um, so what the the bumping of the other receptacles to find the one that's this bogus and when when he bumped it, it shook it just enough to to make, to make break my, the break the break the connection all together, right? It made my meter flicker. Yeah, because he was he was bumping and that wire would would kind of do that. Right, and if it was and tight it, and good, it wouldn't it, it wouldn't have mattered. My meter wouldn't have fluctuated. <laughs> that, that, but that, anyway, that's, they don't that's teach cool. you that stuff in the book. No, no, that ain't in the brochure. Uh, Can't get that on that thirty minute program. <laughs> on a Saturday morning either. They don't know about it. Yeah, but uh, anyway. Anyway, so I just wanted to, to pass that along. It's a it's a very easy fix. Of course, this receptacle is no good. It's burnt up. And you had to put a new one in there. Right. And uh, But all is well. Everybody's happy. And uh, we're going to win this argument one way or the other with his uh, warranty company because that's the way it ought to be. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Well, right is right. You know, right I mean, is right written on the paper and we're going to make sure that uh, we get a little wear with these folks all of that over a 39 cent socket but that's the way it goes that's the way it goes so you know we got other things we can get into this morning but let uh, me let me answer a text over here it says can't find tricks of the trade on y'all.com this morning and i'm wondering uh texter if you put the apostrophe in when you when you tried to pull up y'all.com it's y-a-l-l without the apostrophe y-a-l-l.com and uh we are up and running um not yet okay 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 all right, so they're they're working on it now. I'm told. So hang in hang in there with us, and uh, we'll uh, we'll get that up and up and going. But uh, uh, keep listening in the, in the meantime. John, let's take a quick uh, ninety second break. Get the first one out of the way. We'll talk about one of our our solid uh, everyday long term sponsors here on on the way back in. You're listening to Tricks of the Trade with John Allen on this Saturday morning. My name is Jeremy Tate. I'm the director of bands at Gibson County High School in Dyer, Tennessee. I'm one of five band directors that make up the Gibson County Mass Band that will be participating in the 2022 Tournament of Roses Parade in Pasadena, California. This trip simply would not be possible without you. We need your help. Visit roses2022.com to make your donation today. Attention! Do you owe back taxes, fines, and penalties to the IRS? The IRS now offers new relief options for taxpayers affected by COVID-19, but you can't go it alone. 
Call Tax Solutions now. Our team of former IRS agents and tax professionals can get you the best deal. We know the COVID-19 rules. Call us and never speak to the IRS again. I couldn't sleep. We were being audited. I called Tax Solutions now and a great big weight was lifted off my shoulders. I called Tax Solutions now and they got the IRS off my back. Tax Solutions now had my wage garnishment lifted in 48 hours. The virus has caused the IRS to take extensive action to help taxpayers. So if you owe $10,000 or more, this is the best time in years to settle your tax debt. I qualified for the Fresh Start program. I paid less than I owed. Remember, the IRS will not give up until you pay. Call 800-383-8177. 800-383-8177. 800-383-8177. This is WTJS, Alamo, Jackson, News Talk, West Tennessee. Jackson in West Tennessee, Tricks of the Trade with John Allen. Those phone numbers, 891-6161. That's 731 area code. That'll get you right into the phone box. Or if you want to do it by text this morning, 731-410-7560. And the uh, texter who couldn't find y'all.com has found it. All is well in y'all land. (laughs) Well, good enough. (laughs) All right, so we, we fixed we fixed the socket this morning, and we have chastised a home warranty company. Yeah. Yeah. Our Just choice. Little stinkers. <laughs> <laughs> so what else owed you mind? Oh, well, you know, uh, uh, I got a little little thing over here I want to show you. All right. You know, you, you go to these commercials between your favorite programs, and sooner or later you're going to run across – a drain cleaning commercial. Uh-huh. And it never fails. It'll always tell you, you put this stuff in there, and it will dissolve the uh, the clog that's always in that little trap right underneath your kitchen sink or your, your vanity. And it's always that little hairball. That's, oh, yeah. That's right there. Yeah. I've been doing this for... 44 years now. Wow. And I can't remember, or if it happened, I've forgotten it's been so long, I never found a hairball <laughs> in the little trap. I found a wedding ring. Yep. I found uh, a wad of toothpaste. Yeah. I found uh, grease where they poured the fried chicken grease down uh-huh. the drain, and it solidified, but never found that hairball so anyway i always tell folks when you have a little clog in your sink the last thing you want to do is put some of this over-the-counter drain cleaner in there and i'm not going to rehash that story that you may be thinking i'm going to i'm not that's all right but i did find a little device now my son put me onto this because i'm not one much for gadget but He's Inspector Gadget. I mean, if there's a new tool, he's, <laughs> he's going to get it, one. Right. Yep, right. yep, yep. I go out to his truck, and sometimes they hadn't even been unwrapped yet. <laughs> it's bad. It's an addiction, I think. <laughs> anyway, if you have a, a, a clog in your bathroom sink, now, if you're going to have a hair clog, It'll probably happen in the bathroom sink. I don't yeah. have that problem. <laughs> we do. But but y'all might. Yeah. Toby's over here shaking his head. And, 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 and he, he, Kobe, Kobe's got, he's got a pretty good crop to deal he, with he, over there, he, too, That's yeah. right. We could, yeah, we could do that. Yeah. It, <laughs> but if you've got one of these little pop-up drains in uh-huh. your sink, you know, where you reach and you raise between the two handles of the faucet, you raise it up and it makes your stopper go up and down. Right. That little stick that goes into your drain that pushes the stopper up and down will yeah. catch hair. Yes, it will. And it'll catch a lot of hair. And also that little device in your tub drain, uh, which is the same principle, it will catch a lot of hair there. Not in the trap, but in that little device. Right. Well, somebody a whole lot smarter than me came up with a little invention several years ago and when I saw it, I laughed. I thought, that's about the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> How in the world could that work? But it's a little yellow stick, uh-huh. about three bucks, Yep. that I have lost count of the uh, amount of hairballs 
and uh, wads of long, various color hair that I have pulled out of a tub drain or a uh, bathroom sink. And it's this little this little thing right here. Yep. And uh, it's just a piece of plastic that's got little barbs on the end of it here. And what you do is you just push this down in the hole all the way down as far as you can. Yep. And you just kind of wiggle it around a little bit, and you pull it out, and these barbs catch all of the hair. Yes. And it pulls it out in, in wads. Yeah, it does. I mean, it'd choke a good goat, you know, with what <laughs> they'll pull out of there. But you can clear most of those clogs with this little device right here. You don't have to, you don't have to go get the big machines out. You don't have to uh, put the... Drano or the Mr. Plumber, which will make problems worse. Yes. You don't need to put that down there. You just go and you can buy these at the big box stores and uh, just get you one of these little sticks. That, depending upon which store you you go to, they all got different names. Uh, something, one of them even calls it something has to do with a raccoon. I don't understand that. <laughs> but it's got a picture of a raccoon on the front of it. Okay. I don't know why, but anyway, it it uh, anyway. But th these come in very handy. Yeah. So you ought to put one of these in your toolbox. I mean, you can actually just roll it up. And yeah, you can't hurt the thing. No, but you can hurt yourself. Yes, you one can. thing you don't want to do, you don't want to wad one of these things up and put it in your front pocket. I knew. Cause it uh, it grabs flesh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And other little hairs. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> and you don't want to pull it out by the handle. Oh, it will hurt. Ow. But anyway, it, uh, don't put one of these in your front pocket, but put it in your toolbox, and I think everything will uh, work out real good. That's well, all for it's, show it's, and it's, tell. It's time for true confessions. Yeah. I have one of those. Uh, that's what I know. I got it years ago at the big box store, and I, I said, well, I'm going to try the thing. It's three ninety five, two ninety five, dollars 95 something like that. Like you that. know, if it didn't work, I'll throw it away, right? So my wife says, are you going to tell John? <laughs> <laughs> I said, no, because I know I'll get the stank eye if I <laughs> – you just threw $5 down the drain. Well, I, I have been vindicated. You have one also. I've got one. Matter of fact, I got two. <laughs> one of them, I think, belongs to Josh. Yep. I snatched his in a minute. And yeah, then got me another. Yeah. Didn't give it back. So I'm, far, he hasn't needed it, right? Uh, yeah. Yep. But uh, he'll just go buy another one and charge it to me. Yep. So, anyway. Now, one thing that that thing will not do is fix your fence if your fence gets damaged. No, it won't. But, I mean, now, you might could wrap your barbed wire around that and kind of pull it tight. That's true. But that's about it. But I know somebody that can fix your fence, right? I wonder who that might be. That that might be West End Fence Company. Yes, it would. Yes, They're it one would. of our sponsors. We're proud to have them. And, uh, I mean, even days like today, you need a fence somewhere. And yep. uh, if you had a fence with one of them little fancy gates on it, you wouldn't have to get out in the rain to open up the fence. You could just push a button. And it opened for you. Right. And uh, and then it closed right behind you. And and then again, if you've got a, a situation where you don't want your dog to get out, you can give them a call. Yep. They can take care of that. They'll yep. build any kind of fence you want. You know, uh, bob wire fence, chain link fence, wood fence, vinyl fence, wrought iron fence. They just, any kind of fence, they'll take care of it. And they're good at what they do. They got trained people to do it. They'll come out, dig your hole, and uh, I've even seen them take the extra dirt away. Really? Yeah. They'll, hmm. they'll kind of smooth it out yeah. around there. Yeah. In case the moon's not right. <laughs> <laughs> Which is another story. Yeah, right. Uh, but anyway, they, they yeah. do a good job. We're glad to have them as sponsors here. Yeah, we, so we sure are. Get, yeah. Give them a phone number over there, I'll, Jim. I'll sure do that. You know that fence that you're talking about that will keep your dog in and, and all this stuff? Uh -huh. That very same fence will keep your neighbor's dog out at no extra charge. Two for one. You can't beat it. There you go. It's 731-668-5959, West 10 Fence Company, located at 2158 Hollywood Drive here in the city. Or you can uh, catch uh, Ricky in the sales department there at R. Pennington, the number one, R. Pennington 1 at yahoo.com West End Fence Company good folks do good job yes they do yeah. 
Well, I was wondering what else we can get into this morning. I, I see this looking out the window here, and we got this rain yep. coming in. And uh, it's going to be with us for a little while, I guess. Yeah, it looks like most of the day. I, I was gone a few days this week. Did it really snow here Tuesday no. night? No, they were calling for it. And I don't think we really, in, in most areas, really didn't get all the frost we were supposed to get either. My my wife had every every plant covered in the backyard and probably didn't need to. But, no, we didn't get either. Did got you, cold. But. I got a feeling that Kroger's was sponsoring that <laughs> weather <Snow> forecast. <laughs> Yeah, that's possible. Yeah. that's possible. I wasn't here to see the bread and milk bread line. And milk. No, I, I, you know, when, when they start talking snow, I don't care if it's in July. I stay away from the grocery store. <laughs> I don't need it that bad. <laughs> oh, well, anyway. Uh, but anyway, there's going to be a few people, you know, when it rains, people have some roofing problems. Right. And I need to make you aware that right now the scammers are in town. Uh, they will come out and they will tell you you're going to need a new roof and they'll find all this hail damage and uh or wind damage or whatever so i'm, I'm just kind of telling folks uh y'all be careful out there and, and don't pay attention uh to these people that come knocking on your door or passing out flyers and and uh telling you you got roof problems because they probably know less about roofing than you do they just want to take your money true but I will pass on one little thing, and I got a little news clip. Well, it's one of them little uh, things that comes across your emails every now and then. Yeah. That uh, one of the, the – this, of course, to me this is kind of a common sense thing, but it may not be to everybody. One of the common ploys of these scammers that they have coming out, and they'll be riding down the street, and, and uh, they'll come up and they'll say, I'll, I'll, I'll see your bald spot up there on your roof. <laughs> and where your granules are all washed off, and he'll put a little step ladder up. He'll reach over in your gutter, uh-huh. and he'll get his fingers full of granules. He says your roof's wore out, and uh, you know all these little granules are coming off your roof, and you've got damage. We need to put a roof on for you, and we'll call the insurance company, and we'll make a claim for you, and all this stuff, and we'll get started on it right away. Yep. And uh, I just want to tell people, 100% totally true situation. Granules coming off of your roof mean nothing. Granules have nothing to do with damage on your roof. Granules have nothing to do with the longevity of your roof. Granules on your roof are there for one reason and one reason only, and that is color. They could all come off, and your roof would be just fine. Yep. But uh, just because you're losing granules does not mean your roof is going bad. So if somebody pulls that on you up there, just tell them to hit the road, call the cops, do whatever you want to do. But don't buy a new roof just because somebody says you're losing granules. Uh, that's just not true. And uh there's a lot of court cases that back that up, manufacturer statements, but granules are there strictly for color. Everything else, you're in good shape. Yep. So don't worry about that. Yeah, they're out there. You know, they. Uh, you wonder. You wonder how much money those folks that do that kind of stuff could make if they would use that same uh, ability in a good way instead of trying to rip people off. You know, if they would well, do it right. It's easy money. Yeah, I guess. And, you know, they can they get a new pickup truck every year. <laughs> and a new magnetic sign. And a new magnetic <laughs> sign to stick on the side of it. Yep. So yep. just kind of kind of one of those things. So other than that, that's kind of the way it goes right yep. now. Everybody trying to get something for nothing. So. Yep. Well, ain't that the truth, man? I tell you what, even the government, <laughs> especially the government. Oh Lord. Yeah, we could do we could do three days on that, but uh, we won't we won't get yeah. into that. I don't think. The thing but, I uh, fear right now from the government is, you know, they give out all this money. Yeah. We can't get people to work because they can make more money sitting on the rear end at home. Yep. But now the people that are creating the jobs, the ones that are out here hustling and working. They're going up on all our taxes. Yep. And the the owners that create the jobs are trying to double their taxes. Yep. And thank you, Mr. President. Yeah, right. And then and then with all the giveaways, you, know, you got signs all over this town trying to hire people and they can't. That's right. So here, you know, the the the, the small businesses get hammered when they shut us all down and did everything that they had to do with the COVID thing. 
and now we're we're up and running and trying to get back to some kind of normal, and we can't hire anybody to do the doggone job. I know you you have that problem. We turn. We just. We it it hurts me to have to turn things away. But yeah. We, we just can't get the manpower to take care of it. Yep. Luckily, there's some people out there that will just wait and uh, bless their hearts. We appreciate them, but I don't know. It's an impatient world, and yep, people are the way they are. Yeah, well, you know. So the theoretically, right always wins out. So we just got to endure until we can make that happen. Yeah. Yep. I got a question for yeah, you. Yeah, shoot. All right. You, you get these notices on updating your home yeah and i read two of them yesterday and one of them i'm not too sure about (laughs) but i'm reading these articles now that if you want to have a modern home whatever that is yeah you've got to have a plug in your garage for your electric car yeah these uh, Tesla s- stations. Yeah. 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 Charging. This is a bunch of Char- them out here in the parking yeah. lot at the old country store. Yeah. They're empty. They're empty. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I don't, you know, I- I'm not ready for an electric car just yet. I don't think. No. No. And, don't want anything to do with it. I, it. It. I'm afraid I'd have to get out a five mile extension cord to plug it <laughs> in somewhere. <laughs> Get out in the country and then your I'm, cord runs I'm, out. I'm stuck on the side of the road, no place to plug in. Yep. But, but yeah, they're telling you now in all new modern homes, you got to put a charging station in your garage. So if you build a new construction, is that is that code now? No, I wouldn't say it's code. It they just say it's it coming. Helps sell it. Yeah, they're, they're saying within the next ten years, half, half of the cars are going to be electric. Yep. I don't believe that here in Jackson. Um, you know, I think that's uh, I, I think that's over overly inflated. You know, I, I know that I know there are the powers out there that want that to happen, but I, you know, I, it looks to me like there are just as many problems. And what do you do with the old batteries when they when they go bad? Where do you bury them? Because they got toxic junk in them. And there's a trade off between that and polluting the air. You know, it, it seems to me that we're being awfully arrogant as individuals and as human beings to think we can change the course of the climate. Mm-hmm. Ain't going to happen. But there is an element of people out there that uh, believes that stuff. Oh, I know. I know. I Which know. brings me to what I wanted to talk about. All right. Uh, when you were growing up, how many televisions did you have? One. So early, did I. One early on, yeah. And uh, it was in the living room, mainly. It was, yeah. yeah. Console. And everybody, yeah, it kind of set on legs a lot of times. Yeah, like, ours, ours had a little wooden box around it, and the first one we had was round. Like this one back, it used to one be the one behind us back here. Oh, yeah. Ours was a round screen. And why I remember this, I do not know, but the brand name of that television was Cape Heart. K-A-P-E-H-A-R-T. I can see that logo in my mind because I was staring at that screen way too often. (laughs) Mine was a Zenith. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you know, Mama was kind of ill back in the early days of my life a lot. And and Daddy had a, a black and white television. Oh, yeah. And then there was an extension cord that ran across the room from the back of that TV. Uh-huh. And it was a remote. A remote. Yeah, baby. Y'all were uptown. And it, <laughs> you pushed a button, and it went ka-chunk, 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 ka-chunk <laughs> as it changed the stations. There was a motor in the back of that thing. Uh-huh. And I, I remember when Mr. Buck came over to work on our TV, which yeah, had man. these big tubes in it. Yep. And, and he showed me that. And that big old tube in the back, and the thing that kept going kachunk, kachunk, kachunk. But if you didn't have that device to go kachunk, 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 you had to actually. Okay, sit back, folks. <laughs> you actually had to get up out of your chair. Yes. And change the station. Right. However, there wasn't that many stations. <laughs> three, five, seven, and nine. That's it. <laughs> three, five, seven, and nine, and sometimes 13. 13. Yeah. If. 
your if, antenna was turned. Yes, right. if the cosmic features were right that yeah, day. Yeah, yeah that's no. true. <laughs> and then on the on in my grandpa's farm, we had this little box on top of the TV that was your rotator. Uh-huh. Because if you were kind of in the middle between Memphis and Nashville, your TV couldn't decide which Channel 5 to pick up. Yeah. You wanted to get the one in Memphis or the one in Nashville. Right. So you had to have this little device that spun your antenna that was on the roof exactly around. exactly okay so here we are we grew up with one tv an occasional chunk 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 <laughs> and a rotating antenna yeah well all's right with the world and we actually even had walter cronkite there you go and we knew what was being said was true absolutely now tvs have got to be in every room And I don't mean just little TVs. No, big mamas. They take up a wall. And people even have home studios, theater rooms now. Yep. Projection TVs. And I mean, mean, these are almost life-size, you know, that that are there. And everybody's got to have a remote. My grandchild, I never will forget this, (laughs) several years ago. They were little, but they were toddling around, but they knew how to turn uh, on the TV. They're born that way now. Yeah, I guess that's what they are. But I had what I thought was the cartoons on, and I left the room, and I heard this crying. And I didn't know what it was, so I go in there and I said, Honey, what's the matter? What are you crying about? She said, Tune's gone. Tune's <laughs> gone. And there was some other crazy thing on the TV. And I says, well, we'll just change the station. I don't know how. Didn't know how to change the station. Yeah. So I walked up to the TV and hit the button on the TV and changed the station. And they looked at me and they said, how'd you do that? (laughs) I said, I just changed the station. It's magic. It's magic. And, I mean, everything's got to be remote control. Oh, we yeah. don't have the extension cord that goes across the room anymore. True, true. you just got to draw for the batteries. Yeah. yeah. you got you got to get your batteries out. And, you know, it's just one of those things. So. Yeah. Uh, anyway, we, now the thing now is everybody, now that we got these great big huge TVs, now everybody wants to hide them in the modern homes. <laughs> You have to put them on the wall now. You can't. They're not on stand anymore. They don't have the. It's not like a piece of furniture like it used to be in your right. home. These are flat screen TVs. They are on the wall, and you've got to have these little fancy doors that slide back and forth so you can hang a pretty portrait over it. <laughs> and then when you push another button that's on your remote, it will open. And close the sliders. The sliders oh, to man. expose your TV. I haven't seen that yet. Well, it's a coming. <laughs> Not to my house, it ain't. Why I don't know. Yeah. But that was the headlines of this article. These uh, hidden TVs and charging stations in your garage. Gee whiz! And man. I'm just like, uh, see, I can remember when we when when we first got married, 1972. We went down to Rainy Furniture Company, yeah. downtown Jackson, and bought our first TV together. It was a whopper. Console, wood, all that good stuff. Yeah. Doors that closed over the screen. Yeah. Even then, 25-incher. 25-incher. Wow. Yeah, baby. 25. Color. Oh, man, yeah. you was rich. Yeah, and we thought those doors were the coolest looking thing, you know, because it made it look like a piece of furniture. Nobody else would know that there's actually a, a TV hiding up in yeah, there. Yeah, you get your pledge out and spray it yeah. on there and wipe oh, yeah. it off, make it shine. It took about uh, six days till we decided uh, we either going to leave the doors open or I'm going to take them off because <laughs> this is too much trouble. You know, you got a remote, but you got to get up to go open the doors. Yeah. What's wrong with that picture? That's right. It no must have been intended. somebody with a white coat invented that. I think There's they no did. Doubt about I think it. they did. You're listening to Tricks of the Trade on 93.1, 101.5, and, of course, on y'all.com. We're going to take a commercial break, hear from some of our fine sponsors, and we'll be back with more with John Allen on Tricks of the Trade. Stay with us. Victory for life. Hi, I'm Chase Channel, General Manager of Victory Honda of Jackson. Pre-owned vehicles are worth more than ever, and new car sales are at an all-time high. 
If you've considered upgrading your vehicle, the time is now at Victory Honda. Visit VictoryHondaJackson.com and click Value Your Trade to receive the current value in seconds. Then print it out, bring it in, and upgrade to a new Honda. Victory for life. Or just sell us your vehicle and get paid. You win either way. For complete details, visit VictoryHondaJackson.com or come into Victory Honda on Highway 45 Bypass today. If you've considered upgrading your vehicle, the time is now at Victory Honda. So don't miss this chance to trade and upgrade or just get paid during the Honda Dream Garage Spring Event at Victory Honda. We're more than just printing. With XMC, the possibilities are endless. Let XMC, your Xerox authorized sales agent, help take your business to the next level. Whether you need electronic document management to update your office, a projector system for your boardroom, a high-tech flat panel welcome center in your lobby, or an upgrade to your existing office equipment, visit XMCINC.com and let XMC and Xerox handle your product installation from start to finish, as well as providing all technical support. With nine territories in the southeast, XMC has you covered. Polish salons are more than just ordinary nail salons. They're the place where you can come and escape from your everyday stress and busy lifestyle. Polish prides themselves in providing their customers with fabulously indulgent nail care while maintaining the highest level of cleanliness and sterilization. Come and relax and be pampered with genuine care and with eight wine options to choose from. Join Polish for a new experience at Polished Five Star. 740 Van Drive, 731-256-1955, or visit us at polishjackson.com. Hi, this is Tammy Reed with Hickman Realty. If you've been thinking about selling your home, now is the time. It's a seller's market, and we have buyers waiting for home. You need to use a realtor. With the market changing every day, you may be underselling your home. Don't trust your largest investment to just any realtor. You need to put it in the hands of the most experienced, number one sales team in West Tennessee. Call me today for a free, no-obligation market analysis on your home. You may be surprised what your home will bring. Call Tammy Reed, Hickman Realty, 616-6000, 664-1006. I don't feel like I'm 23 anymore. Lack of energy during the day, difficulty sleeping, reduced mental focus and memory, weight gain, including belly fats, reduced sexual desire, and performance. Studies show after the age of 30, most people produce 3 to 10% less hormones each year, and I felt it. I decided to do something about it, but I didn't want 152 shots of synthetic testosterone per year. What I discovered is changing my life. All testosterone replacement is not the same. Hormone pellets contain the same chemical structure as your body's natural hormones. They're placed under the skin and released by your identical testosterone consistently to the bloodstream and last up to six months. Same thing with estrogen for females. I feel great. I don't want you to waste it on the young. I want it wasted on me. Feeling better for you can start with a simple phone call. Dr. Shannon Bone at Advanced Rehab and Medical. It's 731-503-4277. It's 503-4277. Call today. 731-503-4277. You'll be glad you did. This is WTJS, Alamo, Jackson, News Talk, West Tennessee. Saturday morning, Tricks of the Trade with John Allen here on 93.1. Phone number 731-891-6161. Victory Honda text line 731-410-7560. John, we have a, a new sponsor joining the show this morning. That's what I hear. Yeah, absolutely. They, uh, they're located out at Three Way, out, out in, the, in the split area out there, and it's uh, Quality Outdoor Products. Metal buildings, mm. metal roofs, metal products out there, and uh, they uh, they they can kind of help you get the things together. If you're talking about building a metal building, or you're talking about putting a metal roof on your on your house, check uh, check out Quality Outdoor Products. They can help you prepare your order, package all the metal roofing, the components, the trim, and they'll have it ready for you to take with you that day. If everything goes well, and it usually does out there, and that? for a little bit of a, a little bit uh, of a carrying charge, they'll bring it to the work site for you if that's what you need. And now, all of their buildings and all of their roofs have standing seams. Now, what does that mean to me and you? It means that all the screw heads, the fasteners, and all that unsightly stuff is hidden. And it looks a whole lot smoother, a whole lot cleaner, and more professional. All of that stuff is hidden under those seams. So when it comes time for you to do metal, whether it's a building or a roof or anything in between, it's Quality Outdoor Products, your metal roof and building headquarters on the 45 Bypass in 3-Way, 
3572. Quality outdoor products joining the crew here on Tricks of the Trade. Uh, we're glad to have them, and I'm going to have to get out there and visit that place. Yeah. That uh, sounds like they got some stuff I might be interested in. So we're going to make a trip out there. I hope. I wonder if they're open today. Today's a good rainy Saturday. Might be a good day I, to go out know, there. You know, I honestly don't know, and, and the uh, the information that I've got doesn't give uh, give store hours, but check that number, 888-485-5372, and uh, they'll let you know if they're there and working. We had a text coming in on the Victory Honda text line. It says, Mrs. B and A. That'd be me, me, and you, I think. I don't know. Anyway, Mrs. B and A. I used to go to Biscontine. I remember them. That's down right. At, down at Highland Park. Oh, Charles Park. Biscontine. Yeah, absolutely. I felt like I was in a, a Jaguar showroom. Price for the rich as a young teen. Average weight, 2,000 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Those old TVs were a bit hefty, weren't they? Pascal's Grocery Store. Uh, and the hut, uh, Pasco grocery store was, and the hut is still there. Best barbecue and uh, dark roomed ambiance Jackson ever had. The hut, yes, true, absolutely. That's right. And uh, in my unhumble opinion, well, thank you, Texture. You kind of brought back some memories of Highland Park. And, hey, we go back way past Highland Park. You and I go back to Hicksville. That's Hicksville. That's, That's right. right. That's right. It ain't Hicksville. Don't come in here Hicksville in us. No. It's Hicksville. That's exactly yeah, right. Yeah, it's kind of like Brownville. That's right. Yeah, and Trenton. Brownville. And Trenton. There's no tr- no second T in Trenton. That's right. Yeah, Trenton. Yeah. And I used to go over on Forest just a block away to watch the the, uh, the cotton gin. Oh, yeah. And yeah. where the clinic is now. And yeah. That, those, it, it was a hopping place down there. I was always a hefty young man, you know, uh-huh. and still am to a, to a large degree. But when I'd go to the doctor down there at the Jackson Clinic, they would check me in, and they'd send me over to the gin to weigh. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum. I haven't had an accurate reading since they closed that sucker. You know? I went to the doctor last week, and I felt like I was back in those days because you don't get on a normal scale anymore. Yeah, you get on this ramp. I know, <laughs> and it's like you're pulling the the dump truck up to get weighed at the station. Exactly. And then they say, "All right, well, step this way." Yes. And if I could step this way, I wouldn't need the talcum powder. That's right. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> <laughs> Another text on the Victory on the text line this morning says, please ask John if he can recommend a good, honest plumber in Jackson that will show up and finish the job. Well, if he can't, I can. That's right. <laughs> I'm yeah. looking at him right now. Oh, man. You know, it's difficult to answer questions like that because the trouble is there there are many good excellent plumbers here in Jackson, uh, established plumbers. And there's a few been doing plumbing longer than I have in this town, and, and they're all good, but we are taxed to the limit. I mean, yeah. there's not enough of us to go around. And then you got these new people coming on, and if it, it's almost like they don't want to get their hands dirty. When they figure out what the job is, they'll have to go get a part, but then they not come back. Right. All I can say is, in the consumer's defense, don't pay them in advance. I mean, you shouldn't have to on a small plumbing job anyway. Let them get the job done, make sure it's done right, and then, you know, uh, then you can pay for the services. But, you know, there are good plumbers around here, but there's not enough of them. And that goes for any trade, whether in, in construction, and from roofers to electricians to carpentry painting i mean you got your good and your bad and we're all all the good ones are stretched pretty thin i if you find somebody right now that doesn't have anything to do i believe i'd kind of look at them pretty close because there's a lot of work out there for everybody so you know to the to the person texting in i can give you a few names i probably ought not on the air and and even mine being one of them. But if you want to call my office Monday, uh, 427-1120, I'll give you three or four names of three or four good established uh, plumbers around here that will be happy to take care of what your needs might be. Absolutely, absolutely. Make sure you find one that's got a good plunger and one of them little yellow sticks. That's right. That's right. <laughs> that's right. And if he shows up at your front door with only one pipe wrench, send him back to his truck because right. you got to have two. He don't know what he's doing. That's exactly Texture right. talking about Biscontine a moment ago. Uh, when, I, when I read Mrs. 
B and A. Uh-huh. It was supposed to be Mister's B and A. M R S, which is also Mrs. So you know. So he corrected himself on that. He said, sorry about that. Probably a bad way to do that. But he also wanted to know, was the hut still there when Biscontine was there? And it's yes. Not, yes, I think so. It was. Because yeah. Biscontine was right there on the corner. Exactly. The hut was across the street. Yep. And then, uh, now Pascal's wasn't, I don't think. Yeah, I think you may be right, yeah. Uh, and then, let's see. Where was Charlie's place down there? Uh, right was across, on, on the other side over there, yeah. Across from Pascal's. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then you had George's. Yep, George's Brownstone and, uh, Restaurant. Yeah, that's right. Uh-huh. Yeah, it was a uh, well, good, good oh, food, good days, good stuff, good yeah. stuff. I met I met uh, a guy who is a, a legend in the comedy business and a Jacksonian at uh, at George's. Our lunch group was eating lunch out there one day, and man, all of a sudden this guy walks in the front door with a, uh, a six hundred dollar Brooks Brothers suit and hair slicked back and looking cool. And uh, it was Brother Dave Gardner. No kidding. And he came up. We were eating in the balcony that day, and he came up there and had lunch with us. And, man, I'll never forget that. Yeah. He yeah. could tell some tales. He, he was far ahead of his time. Let's see if we've got uh, – uh, I'm not sure this call is is here. Let's, let's see, John. I think I've got a call here. Let me see if I can get this up and running. Go All ahead. Right. Good morning and welcome to Tricks of the Trade. Hey, how are you? Hang on one second. Hang on one second, caller. Hang on one second. Let me let me make a make a make a swap here because we're not getting everything we need to need to get. All right, now talk to me. You there, caller? What can I use to kill? Hey. Yeah. Yeah, we got you. Sorry about that. Yeah. Go ahead. What can I use to kill the What can I use to kill the moss growing on my shingle? All right. Uh, they do make a actually an exterior pressure wash that you hook up to your garden hose that will uh, you can put it up on your shingles and let it set for about 15 minutes, but it'll take you about 3 applications. Uh, the moss, of course, is a it's a living thing, and at the end of this, once you kill it, you're probably going to have to brush it with a stiff broom because those little tentacles that hold it on are not going to want to let go real easy. But I do have a little homemade remedy that works pretty good on that, and if uh, if you've got just a small area, get you one of these little pump up garden sprayers, and and I'm kind of assuming that you are able to get up on your roof and it's not too steep when I say this. So get you a little pump-up garden sprayer, get you about a quart of the hottest water you can stand and put it in the sprayer. Uh, Then get two cups of baking soda and two cups of hydrogen peroxide. Mix that all up and go up there and mist all that down. Let it wait about 15, 20 minutes. And then rinse it off with cold water. Now, this is also good for cleaning your gutters or your outdoor furniture or whatever. And then repeat that two or three times if it's really heavy. And even use a little stiff broom. Just be careful uh, that you don't slip up there because it it uh, it's going to make it kind of slimy up there a little bit. But, but that's a good thing. They also make a uh, roof and deck wash that you can buy. I believe at Lowe's that you can put on your uh, garden hose and spray it if you want to do it from the ground. But all in all, once it kill it kills it, you will have to probably get up there and broom it a little bit to get all of it off. Okay, that's two cups and two cups. Yep. How much water? Two gallons? A, Three gallons? A quart. Two gallons? A quart. And just and uh, if you want to make a gallon, gallon, just multiply it by four but that that'll do it right there okay hold on i got two cups of baking soda, two cups of, baking soda, two cups of peroxide a quart of hot water, water a quart of hot water that's it that's it mix it up real that good water do what now 
that uh two quarts of water is going to dilute that uh that much baking soda. Yep, that's why you want hot water. Uh, and uh, okay. and, all right. Well, and, thank you. All right. Good luck with that. Let me know how it works. Thank you, caller. Appreciate that. We've right, got. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. We've got about uh, five minutes left in the show, John. We need to catch one more commercial break, and then we'll come back and wrap this thing up on this Saturday morning with Tricks of the Trade. Stay with us. Stay tuned for a very special message from Dustin Ring. Hey, Jackson in West Tennessee. This is Dustin, and I buy houses for cash, and I want to buy more. I also work with over 700 cash investors that also buy houses. The best part is we buy them in as-is condition, so you don't have to fix a thing. We will even pay for your closing costs, and we can also close in as little as seven days. We buy vacant houses, rented houses, fixer-upper houses, houses that have caught on fire, foreclosing houses, leftover over divorce houses? Are you relocating for your job? Or are you a tired landlord tired of dealing with problem tenants? We'll buy those houses too. And hey, no matter what the reason is, I'm here to help. Call Dustin Ring at 731-549-5480. Again, that's 731-549-5480. Again, this is Dustin Ring, and I buy houses for cash. Call me today or text me, 731-549-5480. Polish salons are more than just ordinary nail salons. They have a place where you can come and escape from your everyday stress and busy lifestyle. Polish prides themselves in providing their customers with fabulously indulgent nail care while maintaining the highest level of cleanliness and sterilization. Come and relax and be pampered with genuine care and with eight wine options to choose from. Join them for a new polished experience at Polish Thompson Farms on University Drive, 731-736-4599 or visit us at polishjackson.com. Here at Jackson Off-Road, we are a complete automotive service center that does work on area business fleets, servicing and repairing both diesel and gas engines. Our experienced technicians and advanced technology will upgrade your company's vehicle's performance, saving you significant dollars. Graham Snack Food said, Jackson Off-Road keeps our fleet of vehicles on the road in a timely manner, regardless of what repairs are required or what time of the day or night we call for service or repair. Jackson Off-Road, online and on the 45 Bypass. This is WTJS, Alamo, Jackson, News Talk, West Tennessee. Got about three minutes left in the show on this Saturday morning. Uh, let's wrap it up. What you got? What you got? We can close. You know, in today. the middle of the night, sometimes you hear the water running. Yep. And uh, it's one of those pesky little noises you hear from your toilet, and you can't figure out where the water's coming from. Well, it's coming from your toilet tank. So you go out and you buy all these gadgets. And you think you got your problem fixed? Yep. And it's not fixed. You still got a problem. So I'm going to tell you what to do real quick. If your toilet is coming on various times of the day, that means the water is seeping out of the tank into the bowl. Okay. Which means one of two things is happening. Either your flapper's gone bad or your chain may be too long and it's catching under the flapper causing it to seep a little bit. So if you think you might have a problem like that, here's what you do. Go into your uh, kitchen and get you some food coloring. If you don't have any, go buy some at Kroger's. Yeah. And put you three or four drops in the tank of your toilet, not the bowl, the tank. And if you will leave and come back in about 15, 20 minutes, if the water in your bowl is the same color as what it is in the tank, that means you got a little leak on your flapper. Right. So go get you a new flapper, put it in, solve your problem. But then again, look real close at the chain running from the toilet handle down to the flapper. If it's got too much slack in it, when you flush it, it'll get under the edge of that flapper and cause a leak. And you may have all new components and still have a problem. So get that uh, chain adjusted just right on your flapper. And you won't be waking up in the middle of the night with the sound of water running. Wow. Yeah. Okay. What well, you know, some some of the chains, I guess the older chains, they were always metal for the most part. Now you get these plastic yeah, chains. And those, plastic. those things want to float on you sometimes. I mean, they is, do. That, is that a problem or is it it's just, it, just the way things are nowadays? It is and, and all the little toilet handles are plastic yeah, now. Yeah, they are. And they'll snap off. 
and all of a sudden you can't you push in the lever and you're not flushing the toilet and you find everything floating in the tank when yep. you lift it up so not cool things not are not cool. the way they used to be no nope, and never shall be again i'm afraid uh, not the truth. ain't that the truth we're out of time you're playing yeah. music i guess yeah that's uh that's about it they only give us an hour and it goes in a hurry when we got good callers and good textures and good information from john allen well we'll see you next week at eight o'clock for tricks of the trade you got it have a great weekend everybody